Hello friends. It's a rainy Saturday and I'm experimenting with chords and I'd like to take you along with me. Through my studies in jazz, um, I was taught to go through a circle of fifths blocking chords uh, of different types uh, and keeping them in a certain range so I could learn how to do closed voicings with one hand so I could comp comping with one hand so I could solo with the other. And you can switch hands as well and all the different things that go with that. Um, one thing that I found through the years is that uh, it's hard for those numbers to stick with me. I mean, I, I sort of pick things up more by ear, and um, so I need to have a context. And so uh, while that was certainly provided at certain points, when I sit down to practice them, if I try to just go through the exercise after a while, um, I can do that for a while, but then I want to hear how is this working in a piece of music, and then it sticks better. So that's what I'd like to do today. Before we get started, here's a sketch of what I did so far that you can take a screenshot of if you'd like. So moving along, um, I would like to explore this. Here's what it looks like if you were to play a B minor 7 flat 5. This would be a B minor 7, this is a B minor 7 flat 5. And uh, if you put the 11 in with it, it's the fourth step of the scale. The 11 is an E. So you could just put it up here, like that. And um, before I go into the particular voicing of it, I want to show you how that fits with the, in the scale or the mode. So um, the mode that uses this chord, that this chord is taken from, uh, there are two names for it. The, Aeolo, the Aeolian flat five. It's like a natural minor with a flatted fifth. Or you can also think of it as a Locrian with a natural two, being the seventh step of a major scale, but then naturaling the two. So let's start with the Locrian natural two. Okay, so if I were uh, thinking B as a seventh step of a C major scale, then you would start here. But now you're going to natural the two, meaning you're going to, uh, natural two means like you were playing a major scale, the, the, the second scale degree of a major scale. So it would be like this. That C sharp just gives it a little color, that raised two. But an easier way to think of it might be, um, Aeolian flat five. So thinking B minor, Aeolian. Then take the five and lower it. Just like that. So that's where we get all these color chords from, all these um, the different color tones. So you can also, from the third, and the fifth and the seventh, uh, you can play the note, you can add the note that's a half step above each one of those notes. That's why we can use the, the 11. You could also use the um, six. You could also use um, the two, like that. They all go with it because they're part of that scale. But today, we're just using the 11. So let's talk about voicing and how to just pick this out. Okay, if I want to quickly find this chord, which is the minor 11 flat 5, play the root, go up a minor third or to the third of that chord, and play a minor chord. I'm going to do it in inversion. So I'm going to play D minor, first inversion. And now I'm just going to add the 4, the E, just like that. That's what it is. If you were to add the note that's a fifth below it, which we're going to go to in a minute, you've got kind of a Phrygian sounding chord. We're going to just do it this way for now. And um, then I put a little chord progression in. Then I'm doing E7 with a sharp 9. 
So I spelled it in harmonically just to kind of make it work. So the root is E, and then you've got the third and the seventh. The sharp nine is like a minor three, so you have a minor three and a major three at the same time. That's the nine and a sharp, like that. And then the seventh would be the C. Okay, and then I'm going to walk my thumb down to an F natural. Then I'm going to do an A minor six nine. So, like that. So here's the five, here's the six, here's the nine, and here's the three. All right, another way you could do it is uh, if you go to the second row, you could start the same place. That's your E minor nine minus five. I'm, minor, I'm sorry, E minor 11 minus five. And then this is an E7 sharp uh, five sharp nine. I don't know if I mentioned that while ago. So it's there's a three. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a sharp five. There's a seven. There's a sharp nine. I just put the G on the top, and then I walk into the F on the top. Now, how would this sound um, in a phrase of a song? Well, there was a song recently that I recorded for YouTube, and uh, there's a couple of phrases in there that sound good with this, and that actually this is the chord progression. So that kind of helps to um, solidify it. So um, it's if you were to sing, um, Now after all those things you told Now that voicing right there maybe doesn't work as well, so I'm going to take the second voicing. All right, let's try that one. You said your lips were mine alone. No, oh, the F doesn't go with it, but <laughs> let's try it again. You said your lips were mine alone to kiss. See if I can move to the F after I sing the F. You said your lips were mine alone to kiss. You can make it work that way. Let's take it into another key now. Uh, let's take it into a C minor 11 minus 5. So I'm going to play a C. I'm going to go up a minor third. Okay. I'm going to, exp I'm going to invert that. I'm going to add the 11, which is the F. And interestingly, in this particular song, you're actually singing the 11 as part of the melody. Okay? All right. So that's why I don't want to put necessarily put that F on the top because I'm singing it. So I'm going to put it on the bottom like that. And here we go. It's on the bottom if you want to read along. You said your lips were mine alone to kiss. That worked pretty well. Let's try that again. Let's try now after all those things you told me. Now after all those things you told me. It kind of has a kind of a woeful sound to it. I like these chords. Let's invert it. Now this time I am going to put it on the top. Let's see how it sounds. Now after all those things you told me. That one was really fun. Let's try that again. You said your lips were mine. Hello. have fun experimenting with this and are able to find some phrases in other songs that uh, use the same chord progression and then try singing that phrase in several different keys 
uh, transpose the progression to different keys, and you should uh, get pretty solid with this chord. Have a nice day, and I will see you the next time we experiment with chords.